for how many positive integers n less than or equal to 24 is n factorial evenly divisible by 1 plus 2 all the way to n. First, we can write, I know that 1 plus 2 all the way to n. That sum is equal to n times n plus 1 over 2. So the quotient that we're looking at is going to be n factorial over n times n plus 1 over 2. And another way of writing that is just 2 times n factorial over n times n plus 1. So let's look at uh, some different cases, two cases actually. So what about when n is odd? Well, we can start this out. So let's say just n is 1. So 2 times 1 factorial over 1 times 2. Yep, that works. That's evenly divisible. Um, what about when n is 3? 2 times 3 factorial over 3 times 4. Um, that is also, that's going to be 12 over 12. So that works. Um, and looking at other cases, 2 times 5 factorial over 5 times 6, we see that 5 is, is a factor of 5 factorial, and then, then we're left with just 4 factorial, and 4 factorial is divisible by 6, so this would work. And since that works there, it's going to keep working. Like if we look at seven, 2 times 7 factorial, 7 times 8, the seven is seven is going to divide um, the seven and seven factorial, and then eight is a factor of. Then we're left with six factorial. Um, so actually, when n is odd, all odd values of n will work. Now the case when n is even, and we're going to look at uh, two different subcases. So one is where um, we're going to pick look at the even numbers that are going to work. And um, hint, it's going to be when n plus 1 is not prime. So 2 times 8 factorial over 8 times 9. So when n is, when n is 8, we see that 8 is going to divide 8 factorial. And then 9 is, is a factor in, uh, within 7 factorial. So this will work. Um, and the key here is, n plus 1 is composite, and so another one that would work is 2 times 14 factorial um, over 14 times 15, uh, because 15 is 5 times 3, that's going to be within 14 factorial, and 14 factorial is divisible by 14. Um, key, key there is n plus 1 is composite. So what about when n plus 1 is prime? So within this, when n plus 1 is prime. So one case we can look at, let's just say when n plus 1 is going to be 3. So that's when n is 2. So 2 times 2 factorial over 2 times 3. We can see nothing in the numerator is divisible by 3. So that won't work. Um, and again, you'll see that like here, n is 4. Bottom is going to be 4 times 5. Um, Nothing, like when n plus 1 is prime, nothing in the numerator is going to be divisible by that prime number. Um, so actually, in all cases when n plus 1 is prime, um, it's, not, it's not going to be evenly divisible. So n plus 1 is prime when n is equal to 2, 4, 6... 10, 12, 16, 18, and 22. So we have all these. There are eight numbers here. So for eight values of n, it won't work since we have up to 24, it said. So um, positive integers less than or equal to 24. Um, we're dealing with 24. So 24 minus those eight, that won't work gives us 16 that will work. And that is our answer. So the answer is choice C.